When Grace Mugabe spoke, Zimbabweans listened. He is the unifying force of Zimbabwe, that man. And we must appreciate. The 52-year-old has been married to Robert Mugabe for the last 21 years. That constant companion, literally, always by his side. Grace Mugabe had already made a name for herself as a businesswoman and as a self-styled philanthropist. Then in 2014, she made her way into politics, starting close to the top. She won the battle for leadership of the ruling party's Women's League. Claire appointed, appointed the secretary for women's affairs. In the process, Grace Mugabe had defeated then Vice President Joyce Mujuru, a veteran and longtime ally of Robert Mugabe and once seen as a contender to succeed him. Months later, Mujuru was forced out of office and the ruling party, following a campaign led by Grace Mugabe. In recent months, she had targeted another potential successor, Imason Mnagagwa. He too had been a longtime ally of the president, a man with powerful friends across the party and the army. In 1980, Mnagagwa tried to topple the president through a coup. He actually tried to wrestle power from the president. I am speaking from my previous position. I have the evidence. Earlier this month, Mnagagwa was fired for alleged disloyalty. At the time, Austin Nagagwa seemed to have cleared Grace Mugabe's path to the top.